Hi guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley for anyone that's new. Today is a very special video. It's a collaboration with Donna and Duke. She's been a subscriber to my channel since more or less the beginning, bless her. I'm also subscribed to hers. So this is her channel here. You can see she's got absolutely all sorts. Budgeting, meals of the week, grocery hauls, unboxings, baking absolutely everything she's fantastic and she's such a lovely lovely lady she's also got got a get to know me q a so that that'd be a good place to start for you so today's collab was a family fake way for under five pounds and it's such a good meal i'm absolutely dying to see what donna's done so this is here you can see on her playlist she's got batch cooking feed your family money saving tips cooking with the kids there we are, meals of the week. Cannot recommend this channel highly enough. There we've got as to grocery hauls. So yeah, please, please go over to um, Donna and Duke's channel. Have a good look. I'm sure that you're going to absolutely love it. So now this is what I cooked for our collaboration. So uh, here I've got two chicken fillets. And I'm just going to butterfly these completely. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is make four larger fillets. I'm going to put these into some cling film and bash the life out of them. This took me ages. Either I'm a weakling or they're super strong fillets. Um, yeah. So what, what I'm making today come to £4.85. So that was cutting it close. Uh, condiments and such are, are not included um here i go bashing but oh my god did this take a long time <laughs> if i don't realize before going into it i'd have probably just like got my steve to sit on it or something and it'd have been flat within seconds <laughs> so what i'm going to do is make cutlets so i want each fillet big enough to hold a piece of cheese some parsley and do you see them thin slices of chorizo, what you would normally put on pizza? Just those, to give it some flavour. And I'm going to roll them up into a little square. Uh, I'm looking for the best way to put it in now. Look. Nope, nope, I'm still not happy. There we go. I thought these fillets were pretty big, but not really. Even when battered out, maybe I could have battered them out a bit better. I mean, they was fine in the end, but then he just went around that cheese, unless it was me being piggy with the cheese, you know. Could have been. Oh, it's possible with me. So, yeah, you just already seen on the Meals of the Week that my first first one was um that i did for this collab was kfc <laughs> but i forgot to turn the video recorder on for half of it so yeah that was a bit of a bummer so what i'm going to do once i've wrapped the cheese round is i'm going to pull it tight look as tight as i can that cling wrap and i'm going to try and shape it into a square there you go for a little cutlet and i'm going to put them in the fridge Best to do this in the morning, I'll, I'll guess, and then uh, it'll hold its shape better. So I just did that with all of them. So now we're going to come to the part where here, oddly enough, I'm separating eggs. Now, I've already cooked some basmati rice. Okay, I did enough for our family. You would have to just do enough to feed yours, obviously. <laughs> um, so... There's the two egg yolks, and oddly enough, this is going to go on. 
You'll see in a minute. It was Steve who spotted spotted this. I've never I'd never seen it personally. I mean a lot of you guys might have done, but I've never seen it personally. That's the cooked basmati rice for the egg fried rice. And it goes into the yolk and it's called golden rice or something. So anyway, we tried this. Ooh, was it nice? Ooh, was it nice? <laughs> So yeah, we put the raw yolks onto the rice. Look at that, look. And use the egg whites as you normally would for fried rice. In the wok. So, I've got me uh, little cutlets. You know, I thought these cutlets were going to be way too small. But once you double coat them, so I'm using egg, salt, um panko to coat these so there I go with my panko and I've just realised there's some left in that bag look <laughs> I do use the Utaka brand of panko you can get it in the supermarkets I know for definite you can get it at Tesco's but I do tend to order mine online at Amazon it's just easier for me because I don't really get out of the house too much so I quickly give up with the tongs in a minute and figure hands are the best thing to do, use. Wait for it. I ain't got much patience for this sort of thing, you see. I like to just get my hands in there. So that's so you want the there go the tongs look. Didn't even make it through one piece. <laughs> so I've double dipped it in the egg and in the panko, and this is gonna give it such a crust. You would not believe. There they are, all four done. Now this does not want to be too high of a temperature because yes, you want to crisp it, but you also want to make sure that, I mean, the chicken's only thin, so don't worry about your chicken being undercooked. But what you want is that cheese in the center to melt. So just leave, you can see, it's not on a massive roaring bubble here, like a deep, deep fat uh, fryer would be with chips. Just, oh, you can already see what the crunch is going to be like on them. And it was. So I had these cooking and cooked the rice at the same time. It was so easy. So into the pan, I'm going to first chuck in some remained in slices of chorizo. That was a case of using up what I had. There's the white ends of spring onions. Use the, the dark green ends to garnish at the end. In the uh, chicken pan, I've just tested two, uh, two raw prawn crackers to see if they would uh, cook but as you can see the heat is not even high enough to cook the prawn crackers so yeah it's not that hot I've just chucked some garlic in that wok as well and I'm going to add a squirt of ginger there we go move it back make sure it doesn't burn so I did have some uncooked prawn crackers in the cupboard that had been sat there for a while. So I used some of them to make some prawn crackers to have with this. In goes in, that was about a handful of peas. And this is that golden rice and I've chucked some parsley over that as you can see as well. So that goes in now. So yeah, I was... Um, like I say, I was I already had some prawn crackers in, so I used some of those. D didn't have to go out and buy any. But prawn crackers cooked at home are amazing. They're just as good as at the Chinese shop, if not better, because they're hot. My kids absolutely love them. And they're so cheap on Amazon. Not as cheap as they used to be, but you could say that about a lot of things, I suppose. So I've just moved that around, but oh, 
two rashers of bacon. I pre-cooked these as well when I did the rice earlier until they was um, a little bit crispy and then I cut them as small as I could. This was so that it would mix in and disperse into the rice evenly. So there's loads of little pieces of bacon in there. Some soy sauce. This is reduced salt soy sauce. Use whatever you got. I use reduced because of the bacon. In the description box below, I will list Donna's channel. She's absolutely fabulous, guys. Please go over and take a look. She does a lot of what I do. And she's been subscribed to me since more or less the beginning. So thank you very much, Donna, for that. I am subscribed to Donna's channel. I do watch Donna's channel too. Uh, I've just taken the cutlets out, but you can see with the rice there, I've flattened it out so it's completely flat one layer in that pan I've done that to make the bottom part crispy and it gives it a really nice taste it's not burnt it just gives it a nice taste so I've moved it to one side here come the egg whites that I didn't use earlier no waste here guys and I'm also testing out the prawn crackers now I've turned the heat up now I've took the cutlets out just going to mix in that white yeah so I'll link her, her channel down below um, through her channel you can get to her Instagram um, and she's got lots of pictures of her boys on there oh my god her little boys are the cutest and their eyes such beautiful eyes you'll see anyway if you go and sign up and have a look you'll see Oh, such beautiful eyes. So there's me now cooking some prawn crackers, look. The rice is done. As you can see on the rice, I've chucked in the top ends of the spring onions. I'm just doing me, yeah. Uh, and as quick as they're coming up, that is how quick these cook if you've never done them before. So you're not waiting for them. If you see the one next to the bowl, behind the bowl, look, that I've dropped. That's how they are. They're like, they feel like wha little wax discs. And that's how fast they cook. There is no waiting. So, here's four. What I've done, it was we've got one each, and there's two bowls of crackers, as you can see. But I'm going to plate these onto two plates, because we'll share them on the table, between us and the kids. That way the kids... The kids are at that age where they want to feel grown up and serve themselves, so we split it into two plates. And here it is, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I want to, want to thank Donna for agreeing to work with me. I did want to ask her a while ago, but I didn't know if she'd want to work with my loopy ass. Excuse the French. Some black sesame seeds. Lovely. The rest of that rice, by the way, in the wok. This is just to show you guys, but the rest of that rice does get eaten too. <laughs> and they are so crispy. Look at that. Oh. Oh. And you've got the chorizo flavour inside of it as well. There it is can't beat it guys and it was so easy as you saw so i want to thank you and i want to thank donna for watching my collab for don't forget to like comment and subscribe please go over to donna's and watch hers that's exactly where i'm going straight away and i bet what she made is just as fabulous so again thank you very much donna for working with me today i appreciate it very much thank you guys and i will See you in the comment section.